<laughs> Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. We're back now. Thank you, Mimi. <laughs> All right. Glory to God in the highest. We thank you, Lord. Glory, 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 and praise to God is faithful. Faithful God is worthy. There is none like him. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Thank you, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and bless him. Say, Lord, I thank you and I appreciate that you, you brought me. You brought me on the first day of the month of August. You want to say, Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. I do not take it for granted. I return the praise to you. I come to bless you, Lord. I come to bless you, Lord. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, blessed be God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Say, Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. The rock is walk is perfect for all his ways are justice and a God of faithfulness without iniquity. Just and upright is it. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 4. Our God is just and is righteous, is righteous and is just in the name of Jesus. Let's bless him. Let's thank him. Say, Lord, thank you for January. Thank you for February. Thank you, Lord, for keeping me through the beginning of the year. Thank you, Father. I do not take it for granted all that you have done. I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Psalm 32 and verse 4. He said, The rock. You know, God is your rock. Is the rock like no other. You can trust him. You can depend on him. You can hold on to him. When everybody else is untrustworthy, when everybody else let you down, God will never let you down. God will always be by your side. God is always faithful. Say, Lord, thank you for your mercy over me and my family and my husband and my wife and my children and my children's children. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done, especially Actually, they've been in summer, they've been out of school, and they've been eating all the food in the house. You've got to bless the name of the Lord for everything, for keeping them safe in the name of Jesus Christ. You say, Lord, thank you. In the name of Jesus, say thank you, Lord. We bless you. We bless you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Give him the praise, give him the glory. Give him the praise, give him the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. It said in the same Deuteronomy, chapter 32, and verse 39 now, it says, see now, see now, see now. You're going to open your eyes to see. We're going to pray today about, Lord, open my eyes to see certain things that I need to see in order for me to progress, uh, in order for me to move forward, in order for me to, to reach out. Uh, to, to, to get into the blessings and the place that you have prepared for me that I will not miss my portion and that's going to be our, our prayer today open the highs of my heart Lord uh, that I might behold wondrous things out of your eyes uh, out, uh, out, of, out of your side uh, out of the things that you have prepared for me there are things that God wants to show you there are things that God has prepared for you that you need you need the inner mind, the inner hearts to be open so that you can experience the blessing. Uh, you can continue the rest of this year blinded. You can continue the rest of this year the way things have not worked from January. You need, Lord, to open the eyes of your understanding. Uh, he said the devil, the gods of this world, the, the, the prince of this world, is blinded their eyes that they cannot see. That will not be you. Say, Lord, uh, I, I, I don't want to be blinded and Anymore. I, I don't want to, to miss out from the blessing and the good things that you have for me. I, I, I need you to open my eyes, open my eyes, oh God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, see now, Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39, that I, even I, am he, and there is no God beside me. There is no God like him, is the God, is the Alpha, is the Omega, is the Creator, is there is none like him. And you gotta bless his name. He said, I kill, I make a life, and I wound and I heal, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. Now you see that? You see that? There is nobody that can kill you if God don't don't say it, 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 it's your time. Uh, uh, for he is the one that, that wound and, and, and healed. He's the one that make alive. Uh, and you're going to thank him and say, Lord, thank you, O God, that I'm 
still breathing, that I'm still standing, that I'm still alive. Uh, uh, the enemy couldn't stop you. The enemy couldn't kill you. The enemy couldn't hinder you from the beginning of the year. And so you want to pray the Lord. Uh, I, I want to experience the rest of the blessings you have for me, even in this year, in the name of Jesus Christ. As you go out, as you go in, uh, you need the favor of God. You need the blessings of God. You need the provisions. Uh, you need the protection of God. You need him to, to open your eyes, uh, to help you to see things that you need to see, to see, to see the things that, that you need to see and the things that he, he wants to show you in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your hands and say, Father, I thank you. Lord, I bless you, O God. Lord, I honor you. Lord, Lord, I adore you, O God. Lord, I do not take it for granted all the things that you have done and I come to bless you, Lord. I come to thank you, Lord. I come to honor you, Lord. I come to magnify you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, go ahead and bless him. Go ahead and magnify him. Go ahead and say we're grateful, O oh God. Grateful, 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 Lord. Say, Lord, you are worthy to receive my praise. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, O oh God. There is none like you and I thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome everybody as you come on the broadcast today with me on the winning word and prayer hour. You want to say Lord thank you, thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I bless you Lord, I bless you Lord, I thank you Lord. I bless you Lord, I bless you Lord, I thank you Lord. I bless you Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and I got a word of the Lord for you today if you stick with me through the short time of intercession and prayer as we get prepared to get in the word of the Lord and what God is set to set and do in our life in the direction of his blessing for us uh, even in this month of August uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Job chapter 42 and verse 1. Job chapter 42 and verse 1. He said, Then Job answered the Lord. Job answered the Lord. I decree and I declare that the Lord will grant you answers in this season. And you got to answer him too. You got to answer him. Uh, even asking you for certain things, it's time for you to give him the right answer so that you can go in the right direction. Uh, no more disobedience for the Lord. Uh, but that you go answer him right uh, in this season in the name of Jesus. Job chapter 42. Job chapter 42 and verse 1. He said, Job answered the Lord. He said, I know. I know that you can do all things and no purpose of yours can be twatted. Decree and declare with me, child of God, and say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, your purpose for me shall not be thwarted in this season in the name of Jesus Christ. The plan and the purpose that you have for my life, for my children, my children's children, the enemy will not cancel it. The enemy will not take them in the wrong direction, in the pit and in destruction and the wrong company. But the Lord, your plan, your purpose will be fulfilled and it will not be thwarted in the name of Jesus Christ. Job answered the Lord. Maybe you've been waiting for some answer from God. Uh, if you keep asking the right question, you're going to get the right answer from God. Uh, but it's time for you to begin to look at the word of God from the right perspective into the promise and the purpose that God has for you. No more wrong answers for you. No more deprivement and delay and, de and destruction and anything that brings pain and sickness and disease for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 17 and verse 7. Psalm 17 and verse 7. It says, Wondrously show your loving kindness that God will show you greater things now as he opens your eyes and show you many things it will wondrously show you is that oh savior of those who take refuge at your right hand Psalm 17 and verse 7 God wants to show you by his right hand he wants to show you mighty things he wants to show you that is the God that can lift you is the God that has a promise that keeps his promise and it will 
fulfill the purpose that he has for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, now maybe there are things that have not gone the way you thought and expected from January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and now it's August. Uh, you're going to say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, help me to see what you want me to see so that I can move uh, further in the direction, dimension that you want me to go, that I might fulfill the plan, the purpose, the counsel that you have for me and the promises that have been spoken over my life uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, it is the Lord that goes before you. Deuteronomy 31 and verse 8. Uh, it is the Lord that goes before you, he says. Uh, he said, it will be with you. It will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear and do not be dismayed. Uh, say, in the name of Jesus, uh, I'm moving further. I'm going further in this month of Jul August. Uh, God has brought me through July. God has brought me through all the seven months of this year and now he's going to go with me. He's going to go before me. He's going to do mighty things. Uh, he's going to lead me. He's going to direct me in the name of Jesus Christ uh, and he's going to help me to go further and fulfill that which he planned for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Give him the glory and give him the praise uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. You want to bless him and say, Lord, I thank you. Take a moment to appreciate him. Take a moment to acknowledge him. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got to thank him that you're still alive. Uh, yeah, you got to thank him because the enemy don't mean it that you're still standing. Uh, but you have received the gift from above. You have received the love of God uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and you're going to say, Lord, thank you, O oh God, uh, that you stopped the enemy in their track. Uh, you plotted their plotting and everything they did planned. Uh, he said, Job chapter 2. 5 and verse 12 uh, he said the lord disappointed he disappointed the enemy that the, the the hands and the plotting and the devices and the enterprises could not fulfill that which they are planned against you say father thank you lord and i give you the glory i give you the praise uh, and i acknowledge you in the name of jesus job chapter 5 and verse 12 uh, thank you for disappointing my enemy and thank you because you never disappoint me lord you never disappoint me and i honor you and i thank you and i bless you in the name of jesus christ uh, deuteronomy chapter 32 and he kept on saying that god is the awesome god is the mighty god there is none like him and there is none that can deliver but god uh, and thank you thank you lord for your deliverance say lord thank you for your deliverance thank you for everything that you have done blessed 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 be your holy name in the name of jesus christ i'll get straight into the word of God today quickly so we can pray and we're looking at Luke chapter 24 Luke chapter 24 we'll not have to read the whole text uh, but I'm gonna just do a little 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 summary uh, from the verse 13 on the road to Emmaus on the road to Emmaus and then we're gonna just pick a few a few a few verses there now this man was the account after the resurrection of Jesus Christ Luke chapter Luke chapter 24 and we are in verse 13 from verse 13 down but I'm not gonna read the whole thing but I, I, now now this is the prayer we're gonna pray the Lord in the journey of my life uh, in this season I I, I don't want to go it at, at it alone I don't want to go at it blinded I don't want to go without direction you know back in the days before the coming of the GPS before the computerization and all that that you plug in the GPS and give you direction you need a map you need the road map you need the road map when you're going and you need to plot your road if you want to go on the highway you want to go on the back road you want to go you you go with the map you go with the map you need direction and this 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 month of August if you're gonna go in a new beginning you need God to lead you or you need to open your eyes open your ears and follow in the leading of the Lord and have an understanding of what is trying to show you what is trying to tell you what is trying to make you to see and how he wants you to go because you can be going in the wrong direction when God wants you to go in this other direction and you need to have an understanding Bible says this man were on the road to Emmaus after the resurrection 
they was on the road and they was talking they was talking with one another and Jesus came in the midst of them but they could not recognize him they did not know he was the one this was after his resurrection I don't know what has died in your life I don't know what is dying in your life but God has the power of resurrection and you're gonna pray in the name of Jesus Christ that nothing will die in my household in this season in the name of Jesus Christ nothing will die uh, uh, we, we, we're not going to die not even the pet is allowed to die but that you're going to live to declare the works of the Lord by the resurrection power of God uh, in this season uh, in the name of Jesus Christ uh, and you're going to give him the praise give him the glory in the name of Jesus but the prayer we want to pray from Luke chapter 24 from verse 13 uh, and going on through the, the narrative uh, and they was talking about he said and behold two of them went that day to the village called Emmaus which was from Jerusalem about three score four longs and they talked together of all the things which had happened I don't know the things that have happened to you but I want to tell you the good news with a prophetic service announcement to you that good things are coming to happen to you that the blessings of the Lord is going to happen to you that the breakthrough is coming to happen to you no more breakdown no more sorrow no more downtown no more time of hardship and breakdown and, and, and nothing working but things that God has promised concerning you are going to come to fulfillment in the name of Jesus Christ but you got to watch what you're talking about you got to watch that you're talking about Jesus you want to watch that you're talking about God you got to watch that you're glorifying God quit talking about the problem quit magnifying the problem keep repeating quit 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 repeating what the enemy have been saying concerning you time to begin to talk about the things that God has for you. Time to begin to talk about the blessing God has for you. Time to begin to bless the name of the Lord for where it's taking you. Not where you've been. Not where you've been disappointed. Not where you've been downgraded. Not where you've been disregarded. Not where you've been downgraded. Not where you've been and nothing has worked for you. Time to relocate. Time to reposition. Time to go further. Time to go forward. Time to go to Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the city of God. Jerusalem is the house of peace. Jerusalem that have the mountains surround Jerusalem. So the Lord, the Lord surround his people. It is God that has kept you from the beginning of this year. It is God that has preserved you through everything and everywhere that you have been. That do not allow the enemy to, to rejoice over you. That do not allow the enemy to triumph over you. And you're going to bless him. You're going to thank him. And say, Father... I begin to testify. I begin to talk of all, of all your goodness. I begin to talk of all your greatness. I begin to talk of the thing that you have planned for me. I begin to talk of the thing that you're going to do for me. And I bless you, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for you are doing new things for me in this season. The hold is gone. The hold is past. The hold is dead and gone and buried. New thing, new life, resurrection coming alive for me in the name of Jesus Christ. It's said and they taught one another the thing that have happened uh, say God uh, I'm gonna talk about the thing that you're gonna do for me I will keep celebrating the thing you have done for me I will keep testifying of the thing that you're gonna do in the name of Jesus Christ not the thing the enemy has done not the thing that the enemy keeps whispering to you and showing you that you're gonna die and you that disease that sickness that's that the doctor's report is gonna it's gonna maybe you've been given time and say well there's not we can do you just gotta live with it you just gonna die with it there's nothing 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 can be done but God can do all things uh, Luke chapter 1 and verse 37 uh, it says for with God nothing shall be impossible the word of God will always find expression the word of God has power to give you victory in every way in the name of Jesus Christ now he said and, and it, it came to pass uh, that while they commune together and reason, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. Luke chapter 24 and verse 15. Uh, Jesus himself uh, say, Lord, uh, for the remaining of this year, for the remaining for this month of Jul of August, uh, for the remaining of this year, Lord, uh, I need Jesus to walk with me. I need Jesus to talk with me. I need Jesus to be with me. I need Jesus to help me. I need the Holy Spirit to guide me. I need 
his presence. Uh, I don't what uh, Moses began to say is that if you're not gonna go with us in this wilderness, uh, if you're not gonna go with us in this journey, we don't want to go. He said, Lord, you got to go with us. Uh, and the Bible says he went with them in the pillar of fire and in the cloud of the glory. And you're gonna say, Lord, I want to go with you. I want to go where you want me to go. I want to be where you want me to be in the perfect will, uh, in your perfect purpose uh, in the perfect journey that the perfect plan that you have for me i don't want to work it out on my own uh, i'm tired of trying to do it all by myself uh, i need you oh god uh, i need jesus himself uh, i need you holy spirit of the lord uh, it, you know when jesus was gonna well, after the resurrection and all that and, and, and the ascension he said now now don't you go about going doing the great commission right now by yourself uh, he said go tarry in, in jerusalem uh, go right there uh, and, and be there until you have been endued with power from on high. Now he knew that they need the power of God. Uh, endued with the power of God. Endued with the grace of God. You're going to say, Lord, uh, I need the Holy Spirit of God. Uh, I need the spirit of promise. Uh, I need you to speak with me. I need you to walk with me. I need you to talk with me. I need you to guide me. I need you to lead me. I need you in the journey for the remaining of the days of the month of this year and for the rest of my life. Uh, I don't want to go all by myself. Uh, I need you, Lord. Uh, he says, Jesus, Jesus himself was with them. And then in Acts chapter 2 and verse 2, he said, Now the Holy Spirit came uh, like a mighty rushing wind. Uh, the Holy Spirit came uh, in the upper room. Ah, uh, uh, whenever not something is trying to press you down, go to the upper room uh, and go have a little talk with Jesus uh, and talk with the Holy Spirit. Uh, and the Spirit of Promise is going to help you and you will be strengthened again and you will be empowered again uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, now verse 16, he said, But the eyes were holding that they should not all know him uh, uh, no, no, no. their eyes were holding they did not know him uh, you know that's the problem with many 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 people in church uh, many many people their eyes are withhold and that's what religion does for you religion make you blinded religion make you deaf you can't hear God you can't see no nothing you can't hear no nothing uh, you say Lord uh, help me that my eyes will be open no open 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 the eyes of my heart Lord uh, open the eyes of my heart Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. You need the Lord to open the eyes of your heart. To see him seated in the glory and the majesty. You need the encounter with God. You need his beauty. You need his... Uh, when God open your eyes, uh, all the things that the enemy is using to threaten you, you're going to see that they are nothing. He said he thwarted the, the counsel of the enemy. Job chapter 5 verse, verse 12. Uh, he, he, he put them to shame. And that is what God's going to do for you. Say, Lord. Lord, I need the eyes of my Romans chapter 1. He said, The prince of this world has blinded their eyes that they cannot see. Lord, I don't want to be blinded. I need you open my eyes to see. I need you to open my ears to hear, to go where you want me to go, be where you want me to be in the name of Jesus Christ. Now he said, And he said unto them, What manner of communications are these that you have one to another as you walk and are sad? Now, whatever is making you sad, whatever communication that is making you sad uh, you're gonna say in the name of Jesus Christ uh, no more sad communication for me I will not receive any sad email I will not receive any sad phone calls uh, I will not receive any sad uh, fax message or text messages or no bad news coming for me Lord I receive good news uh, I receive good communication uh, I receive blessed communication uh, I receive good report in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ. Uh, when a good report of God comes for you, it's going to make you joyful. It's going to turn your sadness into joy. Turn your mourning into joy. I'm rejoicing and glorifying God and bless the name of the Lord uh, for great, 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 great thing that he's going to do. No more sad communication. Uh, now you got to be careful. What's so heavy coming to you and come, every time they come to you, all they come to do is make you sad. Uh, all they come to do is to dampen your spirit. Get out of there and don't you talk to them no more. Disconnect, disconnect, disconnect 
communicate, let's communicate there. Whatever is breaking sadness, whatever is breaking uh, mourning and, and, and bad news and, and, and bringing and pulling you down. God never beat you down. He wants to raise you up. Ah, uh, that's just global. He said, you raise me up. Uh, you raise me up so that I can soar on the mountain. That's what God wants to do. He don't beat you down. Uh, even if the, the, you've been down, he lift you up. Uh, he, he, he give you another chance. Uh, he give you peace. He give you joy. He give you happiness. He give you uh, uh, the blessings of the Lord. Uh, it does not have sorrow to it. Sadness is not of God. Bible said it was sad. They were sad. Now whatever sadness has been around you, you're going to say in the name of Jesus. Lord, turn it around, turn it around, turn it around into joy. Turn it around into joy. He said in Isaiah 61. He said now he's giving you the spirit, the spirit of joy. The joy, the rejoicing in the place of the spirit of mourning. In the place of the spirit of sadness. God don't want you sad no more. No matter what happened. No matter what did died. No matter what did ended. No matter what did broke. No matter what they separated, no matter what they walk out, no matter the health condition, joy, joy, joy in the Lord. Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10, he said that the joy of the Lord, the joy of the Lord. He said, don't you be sad this day. It's a day of rejoicing. It's a day of celebration. And those who don't have, give unto them that do have and celebrate. And then those that don't, don't, don't have, give to those that do not have. You're going to share in love and celebrate. And go, 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 go. Go bring your sunshine every Everywhere you go, bring the sunshine everywhere you go, bring your laughter everywhere you go, bring the joy of the Lord everywhere you go, everywhere you go, bring them the presence of God with dancing and celebration, not sadist, not moodiness, not, not mourning, not, not trouble, not, not, not being a, a melancholic, but rejoice in the Lord. They may say you're too hyper, what you what you on? You say I'm on the joy of the Lord, I'm not on cocaine, I'm not on heroin, I'm not on drug, I'm on no, 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 not on opioid. I'm on the joy on the Lord. I'm high on the Lord and joy of the Lord. For the joy of the Lord is my strength and the joy of the Lord is my hope. And the joy of the Lord keep me on. The joy of the Lord keep me moving. It don't matter. They say, well, don't you know what is going on in this country? Don't you know what the president is doing? Don't you know what is going on around and all the trouble and all the nuclear and all the fight and all the lies and all the collusion and all the things and whatever? They know I rejoice in the Lord. My joy joy is not in the White House. My joy doesn't come from the government. My joy doesn't come from the people. My joy comes from the Lord. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. The world cannot take it from me. The Lord gave it to me. And the Lord said everything gonna be alright. I have the joy of the Lord. And I'm never gonna be sad one more day. And I'm never gonna be broke one more day. And I'm never gonna be sick one more day. And I'm never gonna let the enemy laugh at me one more day more day and I'm never gonna let the evil uh, come around me no more no more from this month of new beginnings uh, new things gonna happen in my life uh, new things gonna happen to my children uh, new things gonna happen to my children's children uh, new things gonna happen to my great grand grand grandchildren uh, the joy the joy of the Lord uh, is our strength uh, the joy of the Lord and the communication the communication. What kind of communication? What manner of communication? He said. Uh, now, first, first Corinthians chapter fifteen, uh, and verse thirty three, thirty four. He said, "Listen. Now, don't you know that he who communication corrupt good manners? Now you got to check your manners this time. You got to check your manners if you're going to have a new beginning in the month of August. If you're going to go forward in the month of August. If you're going to receive the breakthrough in the month of August. You got to check on your manners. Uh, you got to check on your attitude. You got to check on your words. Uh, you got to check on how how how, how, how your attitude is going to determine how." high you're gonna go the altitude you're gonna go and, and how much that God's gonna bless you now it's not about no 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 church you belong to it's not about your bishop it's not about your apostle or, or pope or whatever it's about Jesus it says Jesus came to them it's about Jesus it's not about what you what what where you belong or where you what you do it's about Jesus you can belong to the biggest church and not have no Jesus no how no relationship uh, you can be walking and singing in the bishop choir and no 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 have no encounter with Jesus you want to have an encounter with the Lord. He said, evil communication is going to corrupt good man. You don't want to be corrupted. You don't want to be corrupted. Whatever corrupts you will hinder you from fulfilling the blessing and the purpose and the plan and the glory of God upon your life. 
You don't know how many people have been found in jail or because they found themselves in the wrong company and the wrong communication corrupted them. They were not destined to go to jail. They were not supposed to be there. But because they had the wrong company, they ended up in jail. They ended up locked up. They ended up destroying their life and locked up and incarcerated. But that's not going to be your story. That's not going to be your testimony. That's not going to be your children, 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 children. That, say, Lord, separate them from every evil company. Separate them from every evil gang. Separate them from anybody who don't mean no good for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. And God, the steps, O oh God. Honor the steps, Lord. Honor the steps in the in the path of the Lord in the name of Jesus he said now now he said to them what manner of communication and uh, are these that you have one to another and as you walk uh, 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 and I sad say Lord I want to walk 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 in my high places I want to walk 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 in the joy of the Lord I want to walk 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 the walk and talk the talk and glorify God in the name of Jesus and everything that I do in the name of Jesus and one of them whose name was Cleopas answering said unto him, Are thou not only a stranger in Jerusalem, and hast thou not known that these things that have come to pass in the, in this in these days? And and he said unto them, What thing? And he said unto him, concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet, my, mighty indeed, and world before God, and all the people, a prophet. They call him a prophet. They call Jesus a prophet. Now you need your prophet and you need to listen to the prophetic direction in this season. You're going you're going to fulfill your life. He said, he said, he said, now God brought each Egypt. It brought them out of Egypt. It brought Israel out of Egypt by a prophet. And by a prophet, he also preserved them. You need the prophetic word. You know, many times, many people are quick to say, he's a false prophet because he spoke to prophesied to me. He didn't come to pass. No, no, no. He's not a false prophet in some cases. You are the false receiver. You are the false receiver. You've got to check your receiving. If you don't receive it, if you now you don't sow no seed and you expect a, a, a blessing, how are you going to have this where you didn't sow? How are you going to get a word and, 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 get, and get a fulfillment when, when your heart is not right with God? And then you say he's a false prophet. Now you're a false receiver too. You're a false receiver until, unless you change from being a false receiver. You, 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 you lie. You, you, you don't, you, 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 your, your words cannot be your bound and your communications are not good. Uh, you say praise the Lord, glory, hallelujah in church and you get out and you cuss like a, you cuss like a locomotive train coming all the way from Honduras. Now, now are you going to be blessed? How are you going to be blessed? You for the promise and the prophecies to come to fulfillment in your life. I'm not I'm not defending them prophet false 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 prophet. I know yeah that that there are there are false prophets but there are also false receivers false receivers who don't receive no nothing you, you you give an offering and then the next thing you go you use your mouth to 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 corrupt the same seed that you have planted and now you say you don't get no harvest it, you gotta change. You gotta change. You want to change around your life. You gotta change also. You gotta change. You, that, 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 that's the point. God, Jesus was telling them right here. He said, "What things? What things are your communication? What things are you saying? What things is going on?" He's not a stranger. He's not a stranger, but he, he needed to know their mindset. He needed to know their understanding. Uh, their understanding. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 8. Acts chapter 8. Now, the Ethiopian Enoch coming all the way from East Africa. And he went to Israel to worship. The Bible says he served with a, with a queen. With a queen of Ethiopia. Uh, 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 and in the great kingdom of Ethiopia. Uh, and the beautiful kingdom of Ethiopia in East Africa. Uh, uh, and then he was coming on the chariot. And there was Philip, the, 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 the evangelist. One of the deacons that was set in, in the book of Acts. And, and, and the spirit of the Lord in the midst of a great uh, deliverance and, and crusade and, and evangelism and spreading the gospel that he was doing in, in Samaria the, the spirit of the Lord told him and the angel came to him and said get out of there and go to watch the south and go now and you're going to find the Ethiopian you know. and he obeyed he obeyed are you going to obey God in this month of new beginning if you don't obey him you're going to be the same you're going to get no nothing but if you will obey him, he's been speaking to you, he's been showing you dreams, he's been sending words to you, he's been showing you in revelation everywhere you look and he keeps telling you, but you don't so dumb, 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 deviant and not listening. And if you don't listen, you, the devil helps you. You see, many times I'm not speaking in defense of the devil, but many times the devil isn't the one afflicting you. You're afflicting yourself uh, for your disobedience. And when you disobey, uh, the devil going to be clapping for you. Very good, very good, because that's what he wants you to do. They're going to come to terms with the Lord Jesus this time. And say, Lord, I, I, I need a change. And I need you to help me. I need you to help me, Lord. 
not by the work of my hands and not by your power but by the spirit of the lord that is going to make a change in your life we're going to get in the word i know it's not what you want to hear it's not what is popular your bishop won't preach that to you but i'm gonna bring the word anyway now listen he said now 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 he said that they, they said he was a prophet and he was mighty and indeed and uh, and the and word uh, and before god and all the people the word and god and all the people and we got so many preachers who don't, who don't, who don't preach the right thing to the people all because you want an offering oh god now now what you got to get an offering and go to hell for but you got to get the word of the lord to the people get the word of the lord uh, get the word of the lord to them people now he said you got to believe it he said by a prophet he brought israel out of egypt and by prophet he preserved them god is the one that can preserve you and you got to be obedient to him you got to believe him you got to walk in obedience and humility with him if you're going to receive something new if you're going to receive your miracle if you're going to receive the promise and the prophecy that have been spoken over you he won't walk in your disobedience you only walk in your obedience to god in the name of jesus on the road to emmaus how are you on the road to emmaus too You've been on the road, you've been on the road, on the road again, and on the road again, and in your disobedience, and getting no nothing. If you're going to get to your destination, on the road to your destiny, you've got to obey God, and you've got to believe God, and you've got to get out of your disobedience in the name of Jesus. Uh, verse 20. Uh-huh. Then I said, and now the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to the condemned to the dead, and have the crucified him. They know the truth. They know the truth. They crucify him. Their leadership. There are certain leadership that you gotta listen. You gotta gotta know that well, if the leadership is not leading you towards God, if the leadership is pointing towards themselves, look, 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 look. The, the, the only person that is the leader is Jesus. It's not about no leader, nowhere. And the chief priests and all them. Luke chapter 24, in case you're just coming on the broadcast, we'll Luke chapter 24 on the road to Emmaus from verse 13. Luke chapter 24. And I'm in verse 20. He said they, they began to say and said and the chief priests and all the rulers then they delivered them i don't know what the what the, what the religious spirit would have hinder you and they they, they glorify themselves more than jesus they're the superstar there is no superstar Wait, the kingdom is not hollywood the kingdom is not nollywood it's not it's not hollywood of, of california it's not it's not no movie movie industry of no 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 country no india no no africa it, it's, it's not no 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 movie of any hero ball anywhere it's not a movie we're not a movie star you 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 gotta it's about jesus it's about jesus it's about the kingdom of god uh, and he is the king of kings and the lord of lord and the religious people they delivered them delivered them how because they, they they hated the the gospel they hated the word and he said uh, but we trusted we trusted verse 21 he said we trusted that it had been that he should have redeemed israel and beside all these to, today is the third day since these things were done and yet certain women of the company were made also astonished that there was early in the sepulchre and they have found not his body and came saying that they had also seen a vision of an angel and seen and said that that he was alive he is alive he is alive now that the religious people also lied after the women have testified and after Jesus was risen and the angels have stepped in and the Bible says uh, they lied and they paid even the soldiers they paid them they gave them money and said go lie and say and say that the the, the 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 disciples came to steal him while we were sleeping that's what religious people do religious people all they want to tell you go, go lie lie and get your money he's not he's a it, it's Turn on to Jesus. It's about Jesus. It's about Jesus. It's about Jesus and Jesus alone. And they lied. And they said they know that Jesus has come to redeem the people. You're going to say, Lord, you're going to redeem me. Redeem me from every religious city. Redeem me from anything that is against me in my walk with you. Lord, I need your redemption. I need your grace and I need your power. Redeem me, O oh God. Redeem me, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, I need to be redeemed, O oh God. I need to be redeemed, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, you need our redemption. That is going to redeem you from every forces uh, that is keeping you bound. It's going to redeem you for anything trying to take the place of God. Uh, and anything trying to steal the spotlight. Uh, and everything trying to hinder you from getting closer to Jesus. Uh, and anything trying to make you that, uh, that, that uh, a slave to, to, to religion and blind you. Say, Lord, redeem me in the name of Jesus Christ. Redeem my children. Redeem my children's children, oh God. Redemption, Lord. Uh, for there is victory over 
only in Jesus. Uh, there is victory only in the blood of the Lamb. Uh, there is victory. There is healing in him. You see, all your bishop and apostles and all the prophets, they ain't got no power to heal you. Jesus is the healer. They ain't got no power to deliver you. Jesus is the one that delivers. They ain't got no power to resurrect, no nothing in you. The Jesus is the Holy One. They didn't have no, they didn't die on the cross for you. And it's also some, some kind of churches that, that, that I know of, you know, some brother, who, who, he plays guitar in the church and all that, he need money. They said, no, we ain't got no money now. We're building, building project. Uh-huh. Now, it's not about, it's not, they, they would even, they, they would receive an offering for you. They wouldn't even help you when you need one. But that's not of God. That's not of Jesus. Now you need you need Jesus. You need him. You need him. Not 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 then not, not, not a religion Babylonian system. Uh, you need Jesus. Uh, talk with Jesus. Uh, speak with Jesus. Uh, the, the, put your hope in Jesus. Uh, not in your bishop, not in the preacher, not in the prophet and the prophecy, but in Jesus. In Jesus. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. In Jesus. And what he says to you. He want to talk to you. He want to reveal to you. He want to open your eyes. He want to show you things. Uh, he said, what things? What things? What things? There are things he want to show you. He said in Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. He said, now, 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 now. Call upon me and I will answer you. I'm going to answer you. I'm going to show you great and mighty things that you do not know of. He want to speak to you. want to lead you. want to heal you. He want to deliver you. He already paid the price on the tree. And his redemption and the blood of Jesus is still working wonders today. He want to save you. Save your children and children's children. They're going to be, be on drugs and they're not going to go to jail. He want to deliver. He want to save. He want to give you a brand new hope and a brand new life and set them up in the path of righteousness and lifting and joy and peace and good things happen for you in the name of Jesus Christ. No church, no deliverance, no, 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 no preacher can can do what Jesus would do for you. He is the one that would do it. And you got to walk with him. You got to talk with him. You got to repent before him. And quit playing games with him. In the name of Jesus. And I said, uh, the women, the certain women, you know them women? Bob said, those women are the women that come. And they said, now, now, these women were, were supporting Jesus. They were, they were sponsoring Jesus. And they said, especially Mary Magdalene, whom he, he casted out seven demons out of him. Religious people don't cast out no demon. Religious people don't deliver no nobody. They, 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 they put more buttons on you and put you in bondage. But Jesus will set you free. Jesus will deliver you. Jesus will guide you. Jesus will help you. Jesus will lead you. Jesus will give you hope. Jesus will make a way for you. Now, you ain't going to get to heaven because of your pope. You ain't going to get to heaven because of your bishop or archbishop. You ain't going to get to heaven because you believe in your prophet. You ain't going to get to heaven because of your, 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 your apostle or pastor or reverend or, or your minister or your church. There is no Baptist, there is no Presbyterian or, 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 or Anglican or, or, or whatever denomination and Pentecostal. There is no, no, no church in heaven. The holy ones that are there are the ones that have been saved by Jesus. The holy ones that are there are the ones that have been written the book in the in the written their name in the book of life. The holy ones that are there are the ones that have been washed by the blood of Jesus. You're not going to come to heaven because you're, you're going to say, I'm, the, I'm a member of a Holy Mary Catholic uh, Cathedral. That's not what's going to get you in heaven. You're going to come to heaven and say, well, my church is the biggest church in the city. And we're mega church and a Pentecostal non-denominational church. Uh, and our bishop is known everywhere in the world. Uh, that's not going to take you in heaven. What's going to take you is that you saved by the blood of Jesus. Are you washed by the blood of Jesus and sanctified by the blood of Jesus? Ain't no denomination in heaven. Ain't nobody that is in, uh, uh, in some Baptist or some. Uh, I, 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 I used to be Baptist. I ain't not got no nothing against Baptist. I'm Pentecostal and glory to God. Washed by the blood of Jesus. There is no Hispanic church in heaven. There is no African American, African Methodist, Evangelical, African uh, 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 church of uh, uh, American church, uh, uh, white people church in heaven. No way. You're going to get no uh, uh, Asian church and a Chinese church come to heaven and say no. So you got to get out of all those religious things and all those uh, denomination and division and, uh, and prejudice and racism and all that. You're going to get to heaven like that. I'm going to pray for the leadership. You're going to pray for the leadership in the church. Pray for the leadership in the presidency, in the government and all that. That the, the devil will not, will not, will not, the devil that get in their head, that they'll be delivered. Delivered. You don't, you don't have to take long to listen to something and know how, the, how, how much the devil has filled the heart of some people with hate, hatred and prejudice and racism. And, and, and you can make it to heaven. You can make it to God like that. Jesus, is, he died for the whole world. 
he died for the whole world died for everybody he died for even the ones you hate he died for even the ones you don't like he died for everybody and if you're gonna get in heaven you better begin to like people right from here you better begin to like black people like white people and like uh, brown people and like american people or asian people or whatever people whatever people whatever they come from let to get along here yeah? otherwise you can get in heaven because then the, the Bible says in Revelation is that all the nations, all the nations of all the people, of all the tribes, uh, and all the color, and everybody, every tribe, and everything found in the kingdom of heaven and found in heaven only because of Jesus. Now, the road to Hamas is the road to Hamas, it's all the road to heaven in the name of you. You, you, want, you, you want a blessing in this month of August? You need a chain, you need a chain, you need a chain, you need a chain around your life in the name of Jesus Christ. You need a chain in the name of Jesus. Give him the praise and glory. I believe somebody's been blessed and somebody needs to repent in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now he said, now, he said, and the, 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 the angels, the angels, the angel of God are always there. The angel of God are always there watching over you. Are you going to pray with me quickly in one minute and say, Lord, in this month of August, this month of new beginning, I decree and I declare that you cause your angels to guard me. You cause your angels to go with me. He said, when well, he brought them out of the line of Egypt in Exodus 23, he said, now, my angels will go before you. My angels will guide you. And my angels will lead you to the place where I promise. You can't keep living your life from January and all the past years and nothing has changed and nothing is working, but you need, you need a restored relationship of fresh fire with Jesus. With Jesus, you need it. And quit walking on the road to Hamas. Come walk on the road, the road, the, the, the narrow road, the narrow road to heaven. Get out of the Broadway. The Broadway lead to hell, he said in Matthew 7. He said, many, 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 they are find it. Many are going on from church to hell and roasting hell. No, you don't want to be that one. You want to walk with God? You want to walk to Jesus? In the name of Jesus. And I said, the angels. Now those women, when they was going to the, to the early Sunday morning and the resurrection of the third day, the Bible says that they was worried and they said, we're going to roll away the stone for us. But God knows your worry when you commit to him. When the angel of the Lord, the Bible says, the angel of the Lord came, and Ma Matthew 28, and he rolled away, he rolled away the stone and sat on it. And he said, it came in the dawning of a new day. It's the dawning of a new day for you. It's the dawning of a new season for you. Let it be a dawning of a new beginning for you. The month of uh, August, the month of beginning, the number eight means a new beginning, a new beginning, a beginning, a beginning, a beginning, a new, a new thing, and a new leaving, a new way of thinking, and a new way of doing things. Uh, if you're going to get results of walking with the Lord, you can't keep doing it in a old way and, and expect a change. The Bible says that you, you, you don't put in a new wine in a old wine skin. You're going to get the, the, the new wine skin and put in a wine, new wine in it. Otherwise, the old wine skin is going to bust with the new wine skin and everything is wasted and busted. you got to be new with God. I don't care how long you've been in church. I don't care how long you came to have been saved. But are you really saved? I see so much mean people, mean people, liars in the name of the Lord. And they, praise the Lord and they be lying like a lying like a locomotive train. You need to change and repent in the name of the Lord. The Bible says now the devil is a liar, the father of all lies. Of all lies. You gotta change if you're gonna get on the on the road to heaven in the name of Jesus. Mean people, mean people, they don't mean in church. That's not the spirit of God. You need deliverance. The deliverance will set free from every demonic uh, Bible says seven demons he cast out of Mary Magdalene. Uh -huh. And the angel of the Lord sat upon the stone. Lord, whatever stone, whatever hostage, whatever demon, whatever need you need, you need deliverance from. You're going to say, cry unto the Lord. Set me free, O God. Deliver me, O God. I don't want to, I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to burn in hell. I don't want to, I don't want to go in church and cry, sing in church and, and, and be mean like a snake and, and, and the devil. No. Now he said, verse 25. Then he said unto them, O fools, are those slow how far to believe all, all of this prophet? Mark Luke chapter 24 and verse 25. He said, Then he said unto them, O fools, and a slow of heart to believe all that the prophet have spoken. Hath not Christ to have suffered this thing and to enter into his glory? Now you say, Lord, I need your wisdom. I need wisdom from you. I don't want to be foolish. I need your wisdom, O God. I need to walk with you. I don't want to be foolish. He said in Galatians 3, he said, oh, you foolish, foolish Galatian. You don't want to be like that. He said, Lord, I, 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 I want my heart. I don't want to be but slow of heart. 
I need my heart to be on fire for you. I need my heart to be connected to you. I need my heart to be redeemed by you. I need my heart to be refreshed by you. One of the things that the prophet, that the word of God has spoken. I need your wisdom, Lord. I don't want to be dumb. I don't want to be foolish. In the name of Jesus. Say, Galatians, though you're foolish, Galatians. Who, who, who don't need to be foolish? Say, Lord, I want to be foolish. In the name of Jesus. Say, Ought not Christ to have suffered the saints and to enter into his glory. Mm. Say, Lord, I want to enter into glory. I, I, enough of a shame, enough of a fame, enough of a trouble, enough of the pain, enough of the th things around me that is not working. I need the glory, the glory, the glory of the Lord. He said, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. I need to see you. I need to see you. I need to walk in your glory. I need to walk in your glory. I said that I'm a walk in your glory. That I'm a walk in your glory. Uh, in the majesty of God. That the glory of the Lord, that the beauty of the Lord will shine in your path in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Now as they go on, they said, uh, and they went and further and they constrained and they said, Abide with us and all that in the evening and tarry with them. And he was with them and they were eating with them. And it came to pass the study as they sat at the meat with him. He took bread and blessed it and break and gave it to them. And their eyes were open. Verse 31. And their eyes were open. And their eyes were open. And they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. Now he said, did our heart not burn? Did our heart not burn? Say, Lord, open my eyes. Open my eyes in this month. Open my eyes to the changes you need to make. There are companies you need to change. There are things you need to change. You cannot be doing the same old, same old thing and expect a change and a miracle and the word of the Lord and the promise of the Lord fulfill. It don't work like that. God wants to say, Lord, change me, change me, change me, oh God, from within. Change my heart and grant me wisdom and open the eyes of my heart by your Holy Spirit, oh God. He said, He break the bread. Lord, whatever need to be broken in my life, whatever need to be mended in my life, whatever need that I need to change, Lord, change me, oh God. I need you, Lord. I need to see, oh God, what you want me to see. I need to see from the God's perspective. I need to hear from God. I need to be led by the Spirit of the Lord. I need to heat from the bread of heaven. I need to heat from your word. Break the bread of the word for me. Open the word for me and open my eyes to behold wondrous things out of your word. In the name of Jesus Christ. That in everything that I do, in everything that I say, Lord, let the word of my heart, the word of my mouth, and the meditation of my heart, let it be acceptable before you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You're going to come to the Lord. He said, did the heart not born within us? Well, he talked with us by the way and while he opened us open to us the scripture Lord say open to me the scripture it's about this word it's about this word so many things going on in the churches so many things that are not in the practices of the word and the scripture he said open to me the scripture get in the word of God get in the word of God let the word de 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 deliver you let the word transform you let the word set you free let the word empower you let the word of God give you direction let the spirit of the Lord direct you and open your path in the name of Jesus Christ as you bless him and give him all the glory and praise uh, in the name of Jesus. Gotta go, gotta go, and out of time. And I believe that you've been blessed today. It says, saying, the Lord is risen and has, and has appeared. The Lord is risen. We serve a risen Savior. We serve a risen God. On the road to Emmaus, our God is alive and well. That is victory in Jesus. You need the wisdom of God. You need instruction from God. You need to obedience to the word of the Lord. You need to dwell and open the scripture. And open the scripture and let your heart be transformed. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23. He said, now, now, now keep your heart with the whole diligence for, for heart of it at the east issues of life uh, you need he said out of the heart of the man comes all all the adultery and the things and all that he said it's not man it's not it's not the fire by the things he eat but by the things that come out of him uh, uh, what is coming out of you what are the things you say what are the things you heart and how do you conduct yourself uh, you need to transform uh, you're gonna have a change in this month of August you're gonna have a change in the rest of this year you're gonna have a change uh, and break all the addiction and break all the habit and all the things that does not glorify God uh, that your heart burn Romans chapter 1, it says some of them have even been seared, their conscience has been seared with iron. Their conscience has been seared with iron. They don't, they, don't, they don't hear God. That was Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 23 and Romans chapter 1. He said their conscience has been seared with iron. I give him the praise, all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord.
Magnify the name of the Lord. I believe somebody's been fell. Somebody's up. Somebody's been blessed today in the name of Jesus Christ. Second uh, Samuel chapter 24 and verse 14. Second Samuel chapter 24 and verse 14. And we're going to close with our prayer. And I believe somebody's been blessed today. I believe you got a word from the Lord today. I believe that God is set to do a new thing for you. But you got to turn a new leaf also in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and quit, uh, quit, quit, quit magnifying people and worshiping bishops and worshiping worshiping apostle and pope and worshiping holy mary they don't save you jesus alone save you jesus alone can deliver you jesus alone gonna get you in heaven in the name of jesus it's all about jesus it's all about jesus in the name of jesus second Samuel chapter 24 and verse 14 it's a let us fall in the hand of the lord for his mercy is great and let me not fall into the hand of man say father in this new month i'm not gonna fall in the hand of man lord i'm in your hand oh god i'm in your hand like a vessel like a a vessel yielded for for a new for a new 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 season uh, in the name of jesus give him the praise and give him the glory in the name of jesus father we thank you we bless you lord we honor you and we pray for a blessing and increase and favor in the month of august uh, that you will do new things and great things uh, in the name of jesus open the eyes of my heart lord uh, i want to see you i want to see you lord uh, i want to see you lord uh, in the name of jesus christ uh, and i to behold your glory and behold your majesty in the name of jesus give him the praise and give him the glory in the name of jesus say father i thank you and i bless you in jesus mighty name in jesus mighty name in jesus mighty name and everybody shout a big amen 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 and amen glory to god hallelujah amen and amen all right welcome to the man of august i believe you got a word of the lord I believe you're going to make an amend in your journey and I believe that God has spoken to you and the Spirit of the Lord has witnessed in your heart and you know things that he wants you to make amend and you're going to do it and be blessed for it in the name of Jesus. All right, I acknowledge everybody who's coming to broadcast today and God bless you everybody. Uh, St. Jair Reed, God bless you woman of God. I hope you're enjoying your reading of the Give Me This Mountain. The last time she said she was reading it slowly. It's better you read it slowly than those who don't read know nothing. We're in the month of August now. One of the seven months is gone in the year that people will never read no one book. Not one book. Half book. They've never read it this year. They've never bought no one book and read. Uh, no, you, you ain't gonna get, you get every freebie. Freebies on Facebook. Freebies on Facebook all the time. Uh, you're gonna get a book. You're gonna invest in a book. You're gonna read a book. You're gonna develop yourself and, and spend, spend less time on a social network and, 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 and social, social media and read book and get in the word of the Lord. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. He said, this book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth, but it shall, it shall be, it shall be, it shall be, it shall be, it shall be in your heart. You shall meditate in it. Uh, go to Barnes and Nobles. You're going to get, give me this month in by Dr. Abraham Peters on Barnes and Nobles. And I believe that this broadcast has been a blessing to you and you're going to be a blessing to the prophet and be a blessing to the preacher, be a blessing to our ministry also in the night of Jesus Christ if the blessing blessing it said if you're being blessed you'll be a blessing you'll be a blessing also in the name of Jesus Christ and we give God the glory and praise in the name of Jesus and we acknowledge everybody you know saying Gloria Gooding and uh, uh, you know everybody will give you a, a shout out of praise and glory and Betty Brown and God bless you everyone will come Caitlin Hell woman of God from California God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ all right Stephanie Guerrero and uh, Cynthia Reed and all the glory good and god bless you woman of god in the name of jesus god bless you god bless you and i decree and i declare in this new month god is going to do new things for you god is going to lift you out of every wrong road wrong direction going in the wrong direction going to the wrong company going the wrong communication is going to help you through in the name of jesus and you're going to say in the prayer and whatever has worked out for you from the beginning of the year don't give up yet don't you give up on God. He can still do amazing things for you. But he wants you to clean up. He wants you to, to, to change. He wants you to do some, some arrangement around you also. In the name of Jesus Christ. And he's just like a father. A good good father in Luke chapter 15. Like a prodigal son father. And he received him. He received him well. He received him. He gave him, he gave him a bath. He gave him a shower. He said clean him up. Give him a nice robe. Give him a sandal. Give him a ring. Uh, 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 and let's kill the father's, let, let father's carve and the party. Let's set a party. 
Let's say God want to celebrate you. God, let's say, let to get a party going. Uh, and, it, and it said, uh, he, he restored him. He said, for this son of man was lost and now he's found. This son of man was dead and now he, he's found again. In the name of Jesus, uh, God don't want you lost. He don't want you dead. He wants you resurrection. He wants to give you life. He wants to give you peace. He wants to help you. The angels of God are there to help you. The Holy Spirit is there to help you. Jesus is there to help you. To walk with you and you talk to him and believe in him. In the name of Jesus Christ. I believe you've been blessed today in Jesus' name mighty name on behalf of my wonderful woman of god reverend terry we thank you we love you we 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 salute everyone we come on the broadcast we've been coming since we we we, we we're always on the broadcast and uh we've been coming and i believe that you'll be blessed also in the name of jesus we'll we pray for you and we hope you pray for us also so we look forward to seeing you next time i'll be back on friday with the holy spirit fire hour just in case it's your first time that you just stumble on this broadcast you think no the holy spirit led you here god directed you god has a word for you god wanted you to be blessed god wants you to to listen to the word of his prophets and to be to make a, a, a change in your life uh, and to walk with him in a walk with him with a sincere walk with him in a honest walk with him to make a change in your journey on the road to her house for a change and so you didn't stumble you didn't stumble on the broadcast god connected you with the broadcast that you might be blessed and i believe and i declare that your life will never remain the same so every wednesday i come with a winning word and prayer hour which is the broadcast for today and also on friday with the holy spirit fire hour and i believe you'll be blessed you make it a date with us you can get on my youtube you can get on my youtube with uh uh you know uh abraham peters and subscribe and you can like my page book uh, dr abraham peters you get daily prayers that i post and decree and declare and encouraging the lord in your walk with god and get closer with him he said that our heart burn burn with us your heart gotta be on fire not on cold he said in the last day uh timothy chapter 3 he said the love of many shall wash cold your heart need to be on fire for god not wash cold for god uh, it don't matter how long it's been the situation god is able to heal you in a minute god is able to deliver in a second god is able to change everything around it don't take long with god what it takes is truth God wants you to be truthful. God wants you to be honest with Him. God wants you to be devoted to Him. Stop trying to justify yourself. Stop trying to look at the, 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 uh, all, all the things that say, God, I did this. God, I did that. It's not the work of your righteousness. God wants your obedience. God wants your humility. God wants your absolute surrender to Him. And He's going to fix it. Whatever is broke, He's going to fix it. Whatever is uh, need healing, He's going to heal you. He's going to deliver you in the name of Jesus. Give Him the praise. Give Him the glory in the name of Jesus. Blessed be God. And I will also encourage you to help us spread the the word of God and share in your timeline, share in the groups in the name of Jesus. I gotta go time out and we'll see you next time. Shalom, shalom, and have a wonderful time and uh, greetings to everybody. Just in case I didn't call your name, uh, I, I tried to do that, but you know, I can't see everybody's name on the screen, ex uh, except probably sometimes if you make a comment for me. But I acknowledge you all and I congratulate and celebrate you for the new month and you will make it in this month. God will do a new thing in your life as you obey, as you do a new thing, as you walk with him in Jesus' mighty name. Shalom, shalom. And I'm out. I'm out of time. Never heard of the word. And I'm signing out. Dr. Abraham Peter saying, God bless you. Shalom, shalom. Have a wonderful time. I'll see you again on Friday. Shalom. Bye.